What's up guys, it is Underdog MLB, and today I'm coming at you with another double debut. Both of these players are brand new players from the 7th inning henchman pack. The first one is the 92 overall prime Matt Carpenter. This guy has always had a really nice swing in Diamond Dynasty, nice lefty swing. He's got, you know, okay stats, his best attribute is his 100 contact versus righty. Also going to have a silver defensive shield over at third base. This card is not going to blow you away. I don't expect too much out of it. So uh, hopefully the rest of the offense can make up for his probable lack of contribution. I've also got Larry Walker in the outfield who I've played one game with went out for five. So hopefully he can pick it up. I just bought him as a reinforcement for this team. And then the other debut player is the other one of the other henchmen. And that's going to be the 92 overall Mark Burley signature series starting pitcher. This guy honestly could be great. He could just end up being trash. We have yet to see, he's only gotten one card this year in Diamond Dynasty, that being his gold card, which is the White Sox Live Series Collection Reward. I don't imagine very many people use that card. So we'll see if this card is any good. He's got great pitch mix and also good differential with his fastball, sinker, cutter. Some pretty good pitches there, and then the changeup and curveball a lot slower. So maybe if you mix pitches well, he might be able to get the job done, especially on lower difficulties, if you can mess with people people's timing he might get the job done I don't know really how good he's gonna be and then the third player in that henchman pack is honestly the one that is most likely to make my team from now on and that is Sergio Romo this 92 overall prime car this guy had a 93 overall that was in a lot of people's endgame bullpens last year and I do plan to pick this card up the reason I'm not playing with it now is because it's just super expensive going for 18k this card is gonna sink down in price a lot after a couple days so I'm just gonna wait a little bit before I get him but these two guys are going to be debuted right now so let's hop into the game our opponent today is going to be the Texas Angels. I guess he forgot the R. Okay. He's rocking the 92 Jose Urquidy on the mound, and I've got the 92 Mark Burley, as I mentioned. So, battle of the 92 overall starting pitchers. Mickey, that ball should be in the gap. Yeah, that's not getting cut off by Yastrzemski. He's thrown a lot of change up so far, and that one we crushed. Mike Trout with the no doubt shot on a high fastball. That ball was absolutely demolished. Honestly, not a great swing, but we're going to get rewarded big time. We got the early 2-0 lead. That is exactly what you like to see. And this guy is out of here. Let's go. We didn't even get an at-bat with Matt Carpenter or throw a single pitch with Mark Burley. So I'm going to go into game number two. We're going to be the home team in this one. We're going up against the Miami Glizzy Gladiators. This guy's rocking the 84 Aaron Nola. My last guy had a little bit of budget team. This guy has an extreme budget team. His best card is going to be the 95 Kike Hernandez and the 95 Ryan Klesko. Got a bunch of live series and a gold on the mound. That is a very interesting team. Oh my gosh, he swings and misses at a curveball that hits him. I guess this guy is geared up for high velocity. And Burley is definitely the guy you want to throw out there if you got someone that's adjusted to heat. Because he will throw you off. Yeah, my opponent is taking way, way, way too early swings. He's not adjusting to Mark Burley's slow speed at all. Story high and deep. He crushed that fastball. I think that's going to get down. It's going to hop over the wall. Lead off double for Trevor's story. That's a good start to the game. Mickey's going to hit it on the ground to second base. That should advance the runner to third. So it's a productive out. Sack fly, ground ball through. It scores the run. Probably would have crushed that. I was not really ready to swing the bat though. Trout high in the air. Is that ball going to get out of here? I don't believe it is, but we should be able to score this run. 92 speed. There is no way he's throwing me out. 
And we take the early lead in the first again. This time it's only a one nothing lead, but I will take it. And Keno is going to inside out the knuckle curve. We're a little bit late, but that's on purpose. So we can go against the shift and get a nice little shift double. There we go, Robbie. And I absolutely missed that one. Hanging curveball, and I was just not on it. We chop out to end inning, but we take the early lead one to nothing. Always nice to see. Swing and a miss. The curveball is absolutely fooling him, man. Mark Burley seems to be mowing him down. I picked the uh, old Miami ballpark for this game. I've never played in it before, as Carpenter is going to make kind of not a great swing. As I was saying, I picked this ballpark because I finished the Polo Grounds collection to get another progress towards the GOAT nameplate. And uh, I just figured I'd play with it since I have it. I thought it was a cool looking ballpark, but there's a major flaw with this ballpark, and that is that um, right in this area right here that I'm pointing to with the ball it is white and it distracts with the ball as it's being thrown by the pitcher especially if there's a right hander on the mound so if they just throw the ball up and away or at least if it starts up and away that's definitely gonna mess up your hitters just it's it I've been kind of you know it's it's been kind of weird is confusing me a little bit so uh, I'm safe to say I'm definitely not gonna play here again and Nola pops it up to back behind second base Robbie Cano is going to catch it and he goes down one two three yet again we got to relock in though one run two hits versus Aaron Nola first time through the order it's not good enough we got to be better than that and Trevor Story is going to start it off the second time through the order just the way we were looking for that's going to be a single let's see if we can knock him in again and we are not going to oh oh huge mistake by my opponent what is going on oh my gosh what was that what could have been a ground ball double play although i don't think it would have been it was hit too slowly my opponent just completely whiffed on it he ran past the ball and then he ran past the ball with his right fielder and I went ahead and scored from first on a ground ball to second base with Trevor Story and a curveball and another lunging silly swing by my opponent Mark Burley just has him completely thrown off Ground ball right into the shift. Robbie Cano is going to make the play. Yet another 1-2-3 inning for Mark Burley. I'm liking this. And Posada rips a base knock. Is it going to get past the center fielder? It is not, so we're going to stay at first. Good knock by Posada there, though. And perfect, perfect for Matt Carpenter. That is going to be a base hit. We are probably could have advanced to third on that throw, but we're not going to. There's two on, two out for Mark Burley, so this inning is most likely over. Working a good at bat. That's up the middle. That is going to get off his glove, and that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. I thought that was going to maybe sneak under his glove, but he, he kept it in front of him, and... Uh, yeah, that was definitely not the smart choice. 34 speed, uh, Jorge Posada. Now, Mark Burley, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Mark Burley won a ton of gold gloves back in, uh, back in his career. So he's gonna have diamond defense on the mound. In addition to being uh, a shutdown arm, he's gonna be able to make all the defensive plays. And we got him swinging on the sinker low. Mark Burley is carving this guy up. Trevor Story, high and deep. That's going to get into the gap. We're going to have another extra base hit with Trevor Story. He's three for three today. Five total bases. He is uh, putting on a show, definitely. He's been the spark plug for this lineup. Mickey on the ground to shortstop. He makes a big mistake. He throws to third base. Story was almost out there. I would have been mad if he was out because the CPU sent him on contact there. 
but he is going to be safe at third and that allows Mickey to reach and now we've got two runners on and nobody out when he should have had a free out there. That, that was a big blunder by my opponent. Oh, Trout rips it foul. 104 off the bat. And that's going to be a base knock. Mike Trout through the hole. That is going to... Oh! That ball is out of play. A, a throwing error by my opponent. He's had some questionable throws this game. Robbie, that's just not going to have enough mustard on it. But we should be able to tag up. Bad jump. But we are going to be in there. Mickey scores the fourth run of the ball game. And we got another run 90 feet away. Rogers Hornsby high and deep. That ball is going to be out of here. Home run for Rogers Hornsby. It is six to nothing. This is turning into a blow. I think this guy's gonna get out of here. He's either gonna get out of here. Friendly quit, really? You think I'd friendly quit when I'm up six? Get him out of here. He's done. Mark Burley in five innings throws a perfect game. I don't know if you want to count that as a perfect game because it was only five innings. But he did not allow a single base runner through five innings. Matt Carpenter also had a perfect perfect. So good debut all around by both of my debut players. That is quite the game. That is quite the performance. All right, guys, if you did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate if you left a like on it and subscribe to my channel if this is your first time watching or if you're a long time viewer but have just forgotten to click the subscribe button, whatever it is. If you're not subscribed, I would appreciate if you hit that sub button. We're on the road to 100 subscribers, getting very close. I think we're only 24 away at the time I'm making this video. So you could help me get to that goal. And otherwise, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.